As your squadron commander, I welcome you to basic military training, United States Air Force. During the next six weeks, 42 calendar days, 30 training days, you'll be transitioning from civilian to the military way of life. You will be given the opportunity to demonstrate your ability to learn and follow detailed orders, to display a positive, well-motivated attitude, and to demonstrate your ability to work as individuals and as team members. Now, this may seem like an awesome task, but you too can become productive members in today's United States Air Force. Well, play, hold, steady. Lean, back, set them in. Drift, cover. Just by being in the military, you have not lost your rights. Your rights are protected by the Constitution of the United States. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Head and eyes up. Put your chest all the way down to the One. ground. Keep your body straight. Two. Stay with the count. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, 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 oh. Airman! Sir, Airman Calhoun reports his order. What's your problem, son? Huh? Nothing, sir. Nothing? Okay. How's it supposed to be? Button, sir. Button. Why don't we button it then, huh? Yes, sir. You need to give me a 341, son. Yes, sir. You're going to stand at parade rest, the wall locker into your bed. When I come into your area to inspect, you're going to snap to the position of attention and report. Sir, Airman Hedrick, prepared for inspection. Did you correct that duffel bag where I showed you where it was wrong from the last inspection, Airman? Yes, sir. That's much better, much better. Real good. The mission of the Air Force has several different meanings to it. One of them is to work alongside our allies to preserve the peace of the United States. We work together as a team. Hi, Mom. I'm doing all right. How about you? Everything's going fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm eating all my vegetables. Tomorrow, we're scheduled for details. Here are the assignments. Shields, you got the KP detail. Make sure they had their safety gear when they leave. Peterson, you're going to have seven airmen going to building 6228 for a grass cutting detail. You will wear your combat boots, utility uniforms. Delaney, you're taking 10 airmen to records processing. Any questions? must attend a technical school to get your formal training. Now, formal training is taught at Lackland, Shepard, Chanute, Keesler, and Lowry Air Force bases. However, not all of the jobs the Air Force offers require formal training. There are many jobs where the skills that are required can be learned through on-the-job experience. We call that on-the-job training. Everything looks good in your biographical data. Do you happen to have your job sheet available? Yes, sir. Look at that a minute. I see electrician is your very first choice. However, that job is not available for your particular week group. I see electronic computer technician you've been interested in. That happens to be available. Would you be interested in that for your first choice instead? Yes, sir. Now, I want you to understand that I cannot guarantee you'll get this job. I understand, sir. Okay. Dear Mom, how's everything going at home? The medical processing went well. They said I'm in perfect shape. I don't think I'll ever get used to waking up at 5 a.m., but after a 16-hour day, I'm ready for bed at 9. In four more days, I'm going to run the confidence course. That should be fun. A couple general things about the course itself. It's nine-tenths of a mile long. It contains 19 obstacles. Of the 19 obstacles, four of these obstacles are over water. The maximum depth of the water is four and a half feet deep. If you go into the water whatsoever, all I want you to do is stand up and walk out. Go to the nearest red ladder. As you get out, there'll be an airman there or an instructor taking names for you. Give your last name and your flight number, and that goes for every obstacle. A few things out there this morning. You must complete 85% of the course in order to graduate basic training. You can fail up to three obstacles and still pass. So if you give your name more than three times, then you have failed the entire course. But continue on, and you'll be back at a later date to make it up. Is there any more questions? No, sir! I'm now ready for mail call. Airman Lund. Yes, sir. 
Herman Gadsden. Yes, sir. Herman Hedrick. Yes, sir. Herman Mello. Yes, sir. This afternoon, I will be talking to you about respect for authority. Before you can have respect for authority, you must maintain and exercise self-discipline. Respect for authority must be gained by you. It cannot be pounded into you. Shooters, your next order of fire will be 10 rounds, two five-round magazines from the prone position in a 60-second time limit. At this time, pick up two five-round magazines, move forward, and assume the prone position behind your weapon. Commence. Fire. This morning, gentlemen, we're going to be taking the basic military training test. It will determine whether or not you've learned anything over the past five weeks. Mama, mama, look at me. Mama, mama, look at me. Look what the Air Force done to me. Look what the Air Force done to me. Took away my tennis shoes. Took away my tennis shoes. And now I sing the G.I. Blues. And now I sing the G.I. Blues. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Tall and looking good. Standing tall and looking good. We ought to be in Hollywood. We ought to be in Hollywood. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. As I said, there are four different types of chargeable leave which are chargeable against your account. Number one is ordinary leave. Not to be confused with the town pass you will be receiving in the next few days so that you will have the opportunity to see some of the points of interest in San Antonio. The town pass is not chargeable as leave time. you've got weight check and height check. 14.30, you've got your shipping briefing, classroom D. And 15.30, your dorm departure preparation. And so this phase of your training has come to an end, and another phase of your career in the Air Force is about to begin. Know that you're going to be taking with you the pride of every brother and sister of yours in a blue uniform. Take it with you and apply it to your job when you leave here, and you will sustain the United States Air Force as the strongest force for peace in the free world. Thank you. 